This morning in today's kitchen, we're spicing it up with some Korean ribs and kimchi. Akira Back is the executive chef at Yellowtail Japanese Restaurant and Lounge in Las, in Las Vegas, and he's here to add a twist to his mom's traditional recipe. Akira, good morning. Hello. Hey. Before we get to the cooking, you have a professional <laughs> snowboarder. We gotta hear about and this. And you gave it up for cooking? Yeah, you know, <laughs> luckily I was a professional snowboarder from Aspen, Colorado. Yeah. And then I just decided, like, I like cooking. So I just follow Why my not? step. And then I'm just here now. So. There you go. Okay. Well, well, seems to be working for you. We're glad because the snowboarding demonstration would not work in <laughs> no, this room. Exactly. So, <laughs> so you have, you're trained in Japanese cuisine, but we're going to make a Korean style dish. Absolutely, Tell us about absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I'm just going to teach you how to you make this. i to help you. Yeah, please. Yeah. Um, this is a traditional recipe. Mm -hmm. And my mom gave me this recipe. And I just twist it a little bit. Okay. Right now it's 2012. We don't have that much time. So <laughs> I don't have time to braise for nine hours, hours and hours or, and hours. Yeah, long time. So I want to cut it in half. Okay. You know, How new do we school, do that? new generation. First, there's a warm water. You put the beef inside. The mm -hmm. reason why is the Korean people don't like blood. Mm -hmm. And when you stew something, the Get blood actually makes a sourness oh. of the beef when oh, you eat that. when you eat it. So mm. it smells really not so not great. sexy. Okay. So, so, sexy. so after that, <laughs> pretty much, you know, you pat it. Dry it off. Make it dry it off. Okay. Pepper. Yeah. How long do you soak it? Uh, about five minutes. Okay. And then salt. All right. You guys can go like this, or, you know, you guys okay. seen the TV before, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Bam. Yeah. Oh, we've done that. Okay. Absolutely. And ab after that, there's, you know, cornstarch. Corn and you use white cornstarch instead of flour. You know, if I use a flour, mm -hmm. that means I have to use a little bit of butter and I have to mix it together. Right. Otherwise, it wouldn't go well. Right. You know, and again, I want to make this sauce thick as possible. And that's what the cornstarch And then, does. you know, with the less time. Perfect. All right, so, okay. next step. So, so since we're, we're like two minutes to go. Absolutely. So. And then you just toast it. Put the meat in there. And it's very yeah. important. You guys heard that noise, right? Yes. Yeah, so, sizzle. sizzling. So you want the oil to be a little bit hot. Yeah. And then, here's the sugar. Mm -hmm. Dump That's, it. Yeah. The secret, right? Vinegar. Okay. Sounds and you good. hear the noise. Yeah. I like that. The noise I really like. <laughs> Oops, thank you so much. Got chopsticks. And then let it brown in a little bit. Okay. Because you have to make sure the sugar is. And then okay. once this we're going to let it brown, yeah, and then yes. you're going to add the and stocks. Then, and absolutely. But again, this is hot right now, so you okay. got to be very careful. What is that? It's just um, beef stock. Okay. But if you like chicken, you guys can put, too? yeah, whatever you guys want. Okay. You guys are chef at but home. But with the beef, okay. right, it makes beef sense. Stock. Yeah. yeah. And then and soy sauce. you put ginger and mm -hmm. garlic, everything. And I'm actually going to show you how to peel Okay, we've got about ginger a minute left. All right. Put Scallons. that. Yeah. And soy always later. That's the last step. Yeah. Got it. And then after that, close it. Okay. Now what's over here? As what's that is braising. Yeah. And then um, there's a blanched carrots, blanched Beautiful. potato. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you guys can just punch this for me. Sure. sure. You're gonna and make it pretty, right? You can actually peel the quail egg. Sure, I can. So it's very simple. When you boil it, and put it in cold yeah. water. Or yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, I really don't know you how to peel a quail egg. Like that. Then, it around, <laughs> you don't like know that. me, but did, am I doing it? Oh, okay, yeah, good. All right, right. I didn't know if it was like something. And then one other important Classic. thing is ginger. Okay. This actually my there mom showed me this. Yes, show us real fast. So you have to use a spoon. Okay. You know, go like that. Oh, okay. Just so you guys don't have to oh, use a spoon. Got it. That's okay. Very so fresh you, ginger, you guys don't, then. you know, waste a lot. And then we'll show you. Look how gorgeous it's it done. is when it's served. Yes, it is. Wow. So. Right, you put the quail eggs. Absolutely. And then, if you don't have quail eggs, regular and egg, then a I guess, kimchi goes. on the yeah. side. Everything goes well. Great. So here's the finished product. Oh, that looks oh, beautiful. That's great. We're going to give Thank it a Thank you so much, Chef. Thank you. We're really glad to have this. It's delicious. And Hoda and Kathy, we are next, right. except for Randy Travis is filling in. That's right. Thanks. Have a great day, everyone.